Hey everybody, it's Jeff Challen. So today is a big moment for us together in CS124 because today is the day that you begin work on the machine project. So we've been building up your abilities as a software creator through these series of small programming exercises since we began the class like eight weeks ago. And you guys are doing fantastic, but it's time for our next adventure. It's time for a new challenge. It's time to expose you more to the real, gnarly, complicated, confusing, frustrating world of software creation. What we're going to do together over the remainder of the semester is that we are going to build a simple Android app together. Why are we doing this? Why do we do an app? Um, primarily because Android app development is probably the most exciting and high impact thing that you can do as a Kotlin or Java developer. This is the way that you can bring your creations to life and share them with literally billions of people all across the world. The Android development community or developer community is also probably the largest on the planet. There are like a million Android developers out there building apps and cool things for other people to use, some of them for fun, some of them having a tremendous impact on the world around us. So I'm not claiming that you are, that the next six or seven or eight weeks are gonna turn you into some type of amazing Android developer, but I wanna give you a chance to experience this. The other thing that's super important about this for me is that I also want to give you a chance to see what real software creation is like. The problems that you've been working on are tremendously important as exercises to build core skills and competency, but they are nothing like how software creation actually happens in the real world. In the real world, you're not starting from scratch. In the real world, you don't always understand everything that you're working on. In the real world, you have code that you were given that you have to figure out and decide what to do with and augment and fix and understand to some degree. You know, if, if you go to work in any software creation company, they will have a project that they're going to assign you to work on. And it's not going to be, you know, write like a little class from scratch following the small description. It's going to be, hey, this big software project that has thousands of files and hundreds of thousands of lines of code has some bug that was reported to us by, you know, uh, one of our customers a month ago. And could you try to figure out how to run that down and, and, and make the fix? And so this experience for many of you is going to be very frustrating. And I anticipate that and I understand that. And I just wanted to tell you it's okay. It's normal when you start working on the machine project to spend a lot more time reading code, fumbling around, make running little small experiments, you know, trying to trace what's happening than it is writing code. But that's also how software creation works in the real world. Software developers spend a lot of time trying to figure out what to do and then a lot of times a smaller amount of time doing that thing. The exercises you've been working up, up until this point are really the opposite. They, you get to, you know, you might spend a minute or two reading the description, but then you spend a much longer time writing the code. In the real world of software creation, you spend a lot of time reading documentation, tracing existing code, trying to understand like, why is this done this way over here, but not this way over here? You know, getting a sense of like what the rest of the code looks like, um, making uh, sort of uh, engaging in mimicry where you see one thing that was done one way and you do it a slightly different way in another place to solve a similar problem. These are all really important skills. They're not skills that you have yet, but they are skills that we will develop throughout the rest of the semester. The other thing I wanna point out as we get started with this is that we are 100% committed to supporting you throughout this process. We know it's gonna be frustrating. We know you're gonna get stuck. We know you're gonna need help. We're doing a variety of things to try to make sure that the staff is available to help you, but the number one thing that I really need to ask you to do is to go through the MP content. Sometimes when I describe this class to, to people, they're really shocked that we do this type of thing in an introductory computer science course, but what I point out is this is almost a graded tutorial. I'm gonna show you a lot about what you need to do through the video walkthroughs that I'm recording. If you don't watch them, you are going to be pretty confused. If you do watch them, 
I'm going to frequently lead you like within five yards of the finish line, right? Like right up to the water's edge. I'll be like, oh, maybe you want to look over there at this piece of code or, oh, you know, this might be a good starting point over here or, oh, I see a problem over there on that line of code. We're not going to fix it now, but I'll leave that to you to do to get some points on this particular checkpoint. So, you know, this is really not designed to be this huge challenge. We do want this to be very gradual and it's really about us learning how to do this together but you have to follow along. If you don't watch the walkthroughs, you are going to be very frustrated, very confused, very lost, and you know, potentially lose points on some of these checkpoints. But if you follow along with us, you know, you have to sit through a lot of more jaw jacking by me, and you, know, you, you listen and you pay attention, we are gonna provide you a lot of support that way. We'll also obviously provide support through the help site and the forum and in other ways, but you know, the primary source of support for your work on these checkpoints is these video walkthroughs that are attached to each lesson. These lessons, even though they have homework, don't have homework problems, are not days off. You're expected to spend the time on the Android, uh, components of the Android project that we're working on, going through the walkthroughs, doing whatever you know that portion of the walkthrough is covered. I have walkthroughs planned on pretty much every test case for every checkpoint. So we are really going to try to give you a lot of support that way, but if you don't watch them, it doesn't work. Okay, speech over. Good luck on the machine project. Many students have taken this class report that this is by far the most fun thing that we do this semester together. It gives you a chance to build something real um, and exciting and cool, something that you can show to your friends, something that you can potentially even run on your own phone on your own device. And we actually have some plans potentially to allow you to contribute back to the data set that we're using for this, which would be kind of fun. So anyway, have a great time. Um, and I, you'll be hearing a lot from me uh, over the next couple of weeks as we work on this together. But this is really something that we're going to do as a community together to learn the basics of Android app development. Good luck.